Welcome to this video. In our three previous videos, we explain how to model a deep drying process as an axisymmetric problem in Abacus software using Abacus standard method. In the first video, we explained about modeling parts and assembling them. In the next video, we explained steps and in the third video, we explained how to to define interaction and load for this problem. In this video, we will mesh the model and we will run the model and see the results. We enter the mesh module and start to mesh the blank. We want to have four elements along the thickness of the blank. By having four elements along the thickness, we can expect that bending of the blanks can be modeled accurately. We use seed edge and pick the edge of the blank and enter the size of the mesh to have four elements along this edge. We enter 0 0.2 for this edge and we have four elements along it. We also enter a mesh size for global meshing the part. We enter one millimeter which is near the thickness of the blank by this size we don't have an ideal aspect ratio but our cost of simulation will reduce we use a standard mesh and linear mesh because quadratic mesh are not suitable for modeling contact and finally we set the mesh to be quadrilateral and structured. Now we can mesh the blank. And you can see that we have four elements along thickness and a larger mesh size along radius of the blank. Now we can create a job and submit it. We choose the name deep drawing for the job and we use more than one CPU core for running this problem and submit it. Now we can monitor the progress of our job and see increments and iteration that are needs for running this job. Here is the completed job and we can investigate the number of increments and iteration that were used for solving this problem. The column equilibrium iteration show iterations which were needed for solving the equilibrium and the beside Column severe discontinuity iteration shows the number of iterations that were needed for solving the contact. We can see increment that were needed for each step. For example, step 2 needs only 6 increments. Step 3 started with 0.1 size of increment and then Reduce it because it needs seven severe discontinuity iteration. This shows that step three has a complicated contact. We can also see about step three and four. In step three, 24 increments were used to solve the step. Also, we can see about step 4, only 8 increments were needed. And step 5, which is the main step, has the most complicated contact condition. And you can see here that it needs 11 severe discontinuity iteration in the first increment. These numbers tell a lot about convergence and 
condition of solution we can see when in step 5 we have a small size of increment and as you can see there are several increments to solve this step 5 some increment even solved two times and we have cut back for them uh, in total 439 increments were used to solve this step 5 which shows this step is really complicated now we can go to the results we can plot the deformed shape after each step we can go step by step and show the condition of our part and finally after the step 5 we can show forming of the cap I animate the process we can see the progress of the deep drawing of the cup here you also could plot the reaction force of the punch which we have been requested in the step module this force shows the needed force to move the punch while the horizontal axis of this diagram shows the time the vertical axis shows the force in newtons we also could show the total revolution of the problem in the visualization module for this purpose we go to the view and from ODB display option choose sweep elements and turn them around the axisymmetric axis now we can see the complete part you could also watch solving this problem by Abacus explicit in our channel and compare these two methods together I hope you guys have enjoyed this series of modeling if these videos have helped you out please let us know by a like or a comment or a subscribe